In this video, we're going to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle using Python. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the rectangle's length and width. And we'll store what they enter into variables. So we'll have length is equal to float input with length colon. And we'll also have width is equal to float with input and width colon. And what we're doing here is prompting the user with the text length colon. So we're asking them to enter in the length. The string that the user enters in is going to be returned from the input function. And float is going to take that string and convert it to a float. And we're going to store the result into length. And then we do the same thing with width. So now that we have the rectangle's length and width, we can use those values to calculate the rectangle perimeter. So we'll have perimeter is equal to two times the length plus the width. And that will calculate the rectangle perimeter. And then we can print it out with print perimeter colon followed by perimeter. So what we're going to do is output the text perimeter colon followed by the calculated perimeter value. So we can save this and then try it out. So we'll have python d.py. We'll first be prompted for the rectangle length. We'll enter in four. For the rectangle width, we'll enter in eight. And we get a perimeter of 24 which is correct. If we entered in values like this, 2.333333 and 9.777777, we get this as the perimeter result. We might not wanna have that many decimal places in our result. We might be okay with just four decimal places of accuracy. What we could do is use the round function to round down to a fewer number of decimal places. What we could do is pass the result of this expression to the round function as its first argument. The second argument to the round function would be the number of decimal places of accuracy that we do want. So we could have four here. We could save this and run our program again. And now if I enter in the same length and width as before, we're gonna find that it gets rounded down to only four decimal digits of accuracy. So if our program had to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle in multiple places in the source code, we probably wouldn't want to just rewrite this expression again and again. We could even make a mistake if we tried to do that. Instead, we would probably have a function to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. So we'll copy this and we'll make a function. We'll have def rectangle underscore perimeter. And the function will have two parameters, the rectangle length and width as L and W. And the function is going to return the result of this expression. We'll replace length with the parameter name L and width with the parameter name W. Then down here, we'll call the rectangle perimeter function and we'll pass it length and width. So we can save this version of our program and test it out. We'll enter in the same length and width values as before, and we should get back the same result. And we do. So this is how we can calculate the perimeter of a rectangle using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.